What's going on, everybody? This is Play by Play Tech, episode 19. I am your host, Moan Dog, alongside my co host, Max Chambliss. What's happening? This is an exciting week, Max. What's good? <laughs> this is an exciting week, man. The council's released this week. <laughs> no, that's not so much. I just had to do that. Yeah, what's going on, everyone? Yeah, yeah. I'm excited, man. I, I'm excited, but I have a hardship disappointment. You know, so Max has been laughing at me all day. Our friend Ralph has been laughing at me because my council, even though I pre-ordered it two months ago, it won't come until uh, the 16th of this month, even though it releases today. You know what, Max? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you go ahead and you enjoy it. <laughs> and I better not see you or talk to you until I get mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even get mine yet either. I get mine tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy if the doorbell rang and then the cell. Oh, here's your Xbox. So oh, that would be uh, that would be great. That would drive me nuts. I I, I would be highly upset. <laughs> yeah, who so, knows stuff like that. What happened this week with you, or you know, what did you end up doing? No, I didn't even get mine yet either. I get mine. Uh. Trying to remember what I did. I never uh, seem to remember what I do during the week, uh, weekend. <laughs> um, no, pretty much nothing. I just chilled uh, w- with my daughter and stuff like that, anticipating the whole console release and stuff like that. Keep checking my emails. Keep uh, keep looking online to see when my consoles are going to be shipped. And uh, funny thing is, is that uh, for the Xbox wise, I thought the Xbox would come today, but. Uh, I bought. Uh, I pre-ordered my Xbox through Target, and um, for some reason, it, it's like they shipped. They shipped it yesterday. Uh, actually, they shipped it Sunday, and but it says it's gonna arrive uh, uh, Wednesday. But the crazy part is, is that um, it's like right before. Uh, I mean, if you ever look at par- uh, Target app or going Target online and stuff, it, it's like if you try to get a hold of customer service and you try to call them to see if you get the. Uh, next day delivery or if I could just pick it up the store they have an automated system so I was just like I'm not gonna go through that and stuff so there's no way you can get a hold of a live person live person so I was just like you know what I'm not gonna mess anything up I could wait an extra day I know people are excited and stuff but uh uh yeah like I said I could wait one more one more day and then I was looking at the PlayStation 5 status uh it looked like uh my PlayStation 5 was shipped and stuff and then Moan's PlayStation 5 is uh it's still in the process. Well, that's that's what it says. Uh, I know because Ralph know said he me. got his shipped. They know it's me. So they're like, oh, you know what? His Xbox is going to be late. Let's just go ahead and make the other one late. <laughs> well, well, no. It got that next day, uh, that same day delivery when it's supposed to launch. Uh, so I know it got charged for it. So it better be there on the day of launch. If not, then uh, like I said. Well, I got, char- I I got charged on my Xbox, but it's not going to be here today. So it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It, I don't know. I, I think I think they could have done a comes to shipping and stuff like that. I, I I'm just glad that um that we're gonna get it this week. Hopefully, I'm not gonna wood or uh, yeah. maybe next week. Yeah. Well, mean, it has, for sure it's next week. But but I mean, but right now it's just like I kind of wish they would have did a better job as in shipping stuff. So it's kind of well, like, it's one, of, it's one of those things that you just, it is what it is and stuff. So we just have to mercy at the, uh, whoever your shipping company is. So, uh, well, let's yeah, just be sucks, honest. But- I mean, we kind of expected this, right? We, we didn't think that none of this was going to be smooth as far as getting your counsels, whether you pre-ordered it or whether you're trying to get a day one, there's a lot of people on Facebook who actually got theirs. Uh, Walmart uh, announced that you could possibly get one and it's widely available depending on your store and where you're at. So you can go on there, you can pre-order it and you can't just walk in the store and buy it. You can just do it online and you do, do a curbside pickup, you know? So, I mean, it's to be expected, but it, once it happens to you like me, cause mine's is late, <laughs> you know, so it just feels off because I'm not this is the first time ever that I've not had a council on the day it came out so it's just yeah just drives me crazy but we know we're in different times so uh so I, we got to yeah. live with it you know and, and I understand you know just yeah. just don't mind me rambling I'm just 
you know, butthurt about it because I don't have my console and I want to play it now. I want to be, I want to be a part of the first uh, wave of, you know, having it. I mean, but it is what it is. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like the same thing for me too. It's kind of like it is what it is. It's kind of, and I mean, for me, I, I I've been I used to go and get my console the day day at launch, like at twelve at night and stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's different times now. So it's kind of like. It is what it is, but I mean, at least at least I know that I'm I'm, I'm going to get the console and stuff. I don't have to wait till like next year, like some people have to, yeah, and stuff for uh, uh for more shipment. But uh, I mean, hey, I mean, it, worse things can happen and stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're lucky enough to get it. <laughs> God, Ralph, Ralph, screw you. Yeah, okay, you know, six people that got the Xbox today. So he's trying to fire me up on the podcast. And I'm just trying not to let him get under my skin. <laughs> yeah, actually, the funny thing is, too, I saw online, too, that a lot of people said they just walked into, like, Walmart, like you said, or Target or Best Buy. And it said, yeah, it was just right there in stock. So, I, hey, it is what it is and stuff. So, it's just one of those things that you just, <sighs> it just, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, so you can't get really angry because you just don't know what the supplies are. Yeah, and stuff. So it's just, uh, yeah, just. Uh, I to just, be honest with you, if you guys, whoever pre-ordered the PlayStation or the Xbox, expect this to happen the same way PlayStation uh, does there. So I mean, it ain't X. Well, somewhat of Xbox fault because they should have knew the demand. Uh, they should have ramped up production. You know, if you're a high-profile person like a celebrity, you're going to get it. You know, but people like us, you know. Uh, you know, you just got to go through the system and what they have. Um, but but don't think this is just an Xbox thing. PlayStation, they, they won't be able to. They PlayStation announced in the beginning of the year they won't be able to keep up with demand, and they're going to release a limited amount anyway. So let's just hope and that you are one of those guys that'll be able to, you know, get it when it comes out. Uh, a lot of people on Facebook, I've seen them get the Xbox, and they've done it on day one. Excuse me, they've done it on day one. So, but I've already pre ordered. I'm not about to spend another $500 just to have it today. I can wait. I'm patient. I PC game. You know, I got mine. I got everything ready of what I want to do. I just needed to come here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same <laughs> thing for me, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, the crazy thing, I kind of wish I got it today because I have to turn it off so I could play it all tonight. But well, you might get it tomorrow, I mean, right? I'm supposed to get it tomorrow, but I don't know when tomorrow. It could be end of the uh, end of tomorrow, end of the day tomorrow and stuff. And then, okay. uh, and then I got some errands to run too, uh, early in the morning. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm able to get my errands done before FedEx comes. So uh, okay. that's kind of like my intention. Cool. And stuff. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not really like I said, I'm not like I said, I'm not stressed about it and stuff. Because uh, the thing is, is that I really, really want to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla because it looks really fun. But at the same time, too, I'm a, I'm, I'm a tight. I'm really more excited about the PlayStation Five because I really want to play Spider Man. I'm, I'm with Alice. you on that. I really want to play Spider Man too. I'm with you on that. Yeah, I, and I want to so, play. I've been telling Max I want to play uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake again. I want to see how it looks on the on the PlayStation Five, and you know, just play with that butter smoothness. Ooh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, yeah, I got. Yeah, because uh, the uh, crazy thing is, is that uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, some uh, some YouTubers put some uh, put some videos uh, comparison between like the PlayStation Four Pro and the uh, PS Five uh, backwards compatible. So they did like Days Gone. Uh, if anybody familiar with that uh, game, uh, that's a zombie game. Originally on the PS, uh, uh, excuse me, PlayStation Four uh, Pro, it was only could run at thirty frames per second. But on the PS Five, it it is up. It had a locked sixty frames per second. Yeah. Uh, so so that's really good. And it, it is like looking at, looking at it. I'm like I said, I played Days Gone for a minute, but then I just got I don't know. It's just like it was just too. It was just like the frames was really really get into me and so that's why i was just like no nah, I'll, I'll play this game a little bit well, later you know what, just you know what i felt like up. that with as well uh final fantasy 15 felt like that as well uh it, it's totally different when you play it on the on the pc but when the and at the time when yeah. final fantasy 15 came out the hdr was horrible uh when it when it first launched and i would never play it in hdr uh so it would be good to play that game but final fantasy 7 is out so i have no interest in 15 15 was actually pretty good but I just that's just my go to. That's 
I have to try this on the new PlayStation so I can get that yeah. updated resolution, get that updated frame rate, and just have a wonderful immersion experience. <sighs> All right, but anyway, yeah. let's get on to our first subject, Max. Let's uh, oh. let's hit on the EA Play is open up now for Game Pass Ultimate. So, oh uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, so I, was, the, I, I didn't get a chance to really uh look at it, but I did see Fallen Order. Is on there, um, and I, I had that for the PlayStation, PlayStation Four. So yeah, I'm, I might revisit it because uh, Xbox Series X uh, with the backwards compatible uh, catalog. I know uh, that game is playing at 60 frames per second, so that's super exciting. So oh yeah, see that? Yeah, it got a uh, need for speed. Yeah, there's a there's a uh, ton of games. I'm actually Anthem. looking forward to the. To the Fallen Order. I haven't played that yet. When I knew that EA was coming to um, Game Pass, I kind of held off on it. Um, but go ahead, yeah. Max. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh no, I was just looking at. I was just looking at the screen to say like Anthem. Yeah, Anthem. Well, nobody doesn't really play Anthem. Anymore. Yeah, Anthem was but, a horrible uh, launch. Yeah. We're not going to even get into that one. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I, I I wanted to kick whoever recommended that game. I, it was one of you guys that recommended. Oh yeah, it's good. Just like Destiny, I played it. I saw this game is garbage. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, I was like, man, it was just, it was just like they, they try to copy so much of, of Destiny. Yeah. But then it, it was just, it, it was just, it was just, so, it was just, it had so much potential. But it, it's just like coming from EA, it, I, it didn't I execute kinda, well, especially with all the glitches. And yeah. from my understanding, PlayStation's blowing up at the time too. Uh, when yeah, that game was so out, I was just, yeah. So that game. And it was just like the low time. It was just everything about just terrible. It was like I was trying to go on missions. It's it just like it was. It was. It was a good idea. It just, just to your point, it wasn't actually executed well because, it, yeah, yeah. So, I, so I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm definitely not gonna pick that up. So, uh, I'm not gonna pick that up. I'm probably gonna play Fallen Order and, uh, yeah, and probably play uh, Need for Speed just for the heck of it and stuff to see what happens. Yeah, and and, stuff, it, and this uh, is and remind you guys, this is all today. This is out today. You can play these games today if you have Game Pass. And here's the different tiers. Uh, it looks like they just don't have it for console only. So this is only for Xbox Game Pass for PC and Ultimate is for console and PC. Or you can pay it separately for four ninety nine. So my suggestion, if you guys only have a console still get the ultimate because if you do get into the pc space pc world uh you'll be able to play this or you can use your cloud you know to play these games um when i looked on here earlier it didn't seem like you can play these through the cloud it were all uh game installs um but mm -hmm. hopefully later on down the line they will be available through the cloud where you can play it on your phone your tablet maybe a chromebook or something like that um, what I have noticed too, playing Xbox, uh, the, the, the cloud service, X cloud, whatever they call it now. Um, they have the different section for, uh, uh, game pass cloud and they have your normal console section. And I noticed that in the console section, you can also stream those games too for just game pass console. So that's how I was able to play, uh, doom eternal cause Max recommended it to me and I did play it. Uh, but it wasn't it was a little laggy so i couldn't show a lot of interest in it but you were able to play it. and i have i have really good high speed internet so it shouldn't i shouldn't have had a problem so this probably has to do with needs an update or whatever cuz i mean they have a lot going on this is basically back in those days max when we used to play um the new call of duties and then everybody get on there at one o'clock in the morning and all the servers are down <laughs> you know so mm -hmm. this is yeah. kind of what this thing is now is it's going to be a little fishy until Everything opens back up. Well, until they work to more towards it and get rid and debug and get rid of all the things that's making it crash or making it not work and all this type of stuff. So I think that's one of those problems of of what's happening right now. Uh, or it may just be at that specific time. My internet wasn't good. I mean, who knows? I do have like a thousand devices connected at one time. <laughs> you know, so so yeah. I don't know. Normally, I have a good experience when I'm playing uh, Xbox. Uh, X Cloud, uh, especially Halo. Like I have a good experience playing Halo all the time. <sighs> so yeah. <sighs> well, anyway, um, that's just you know EA is out. Go try it out. Uh, I've never I've had Origin on PC. I mean that's EA based. 
and EA Play is is a new thing that they're doing. I don't know if Origin is going to switch to EA. Uh, it, I I would assume so because Origin is done and played out. Um, but you know this will be a good competitor for Steam, uh, Steam and um, Epic Game Store on the PC. So if you guys haven't, make sure you guys go check that out. <sighs> so anyway, on to the next one. Uh, Max, did you hear about the YouTube Premium? Uh, folks are able to get the Stadia Premiere Edition for free. No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, this this one's going to be a short topic, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, because I because I told I told you from the get go, <laughs> streaming games is I, I don't care what anybody say and stuff. They keep on saying like, oh, it's 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 pretty stable, but at the end of the day and stuff, it's kind of like you're always going to have issues when you stream games because you don't have the you don't have the infrastructure, you don't have the internet speed to really keep up with something like that. I don't care I don't care what anybody say, they can argue with me all they want, but at the same time too is like if you game on a PC, you know, you know how people are when it comes to the frames per second. They like to play at high frames. You wouldn't be able to do that with a streaming game. So it's just like that's kind of like my argument and stuff. So and then and then it's just a the quality. They're talking about 4K and stuff, but that's not guaranteed. It, it all depends on your internet connection. Right. So if you don't have or internet server. That's it. Yep. Yep. I yeah. Agree. Or or the server. So you, so it's kind of like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's just we're not there yet. Until until they, we have a better infrastructure and stuff. I like I said, it, I really don't care. I really yeah. don't care. About well, it. the reason why it's I think idiot. this is a good deal <laughs> is that the controller and the uh, Chromecast Ultimate is free. Mm-hmm. So you don't even have to use it for Stadia. You just have to be a YouTube premium member. And if you have a TV that's not a smart TV or it's an outdated smart TV, you plug this in, your TV's good to go from a device. So I've already registered for it for them to send me one. I got the email. They said they'll send me one. So I'll just have that for free. I had Stadia. I didn't like it. I got rid of it. Uh, I did the free trial. And then I tried to give it another chance where I paid for it. And what I the only thing I would stick with it, but the only thing I hate is that mm-hmm. If a AAA title comes out, you pay $60 for it, and say if you decide you don't want the service anymore, or something happened with your card, it got stolen, or you don't have enough money in there for the month, you don't own the game anymore. You have to have the Stadia services, so it makes no sense to me why I would pay, what is this, 14 10, I think it's $10 a month, for, and you still have to buy games that, that you basically... It, how it makes me feel? You buy the game to have to let somebody else have it to let you access it. I think it's the, I think it's stupid, you know. So until they fix that problem for me, I, I'm I'm good on Stadia. They, they they were supposed to release a free version. I think right now a free version would help them out if uh, especially if they want to grab some uh, volume and some clientele uh, to use their services. Not not everybody likes it. Like I told Max before, the presentation is amazing. When you go in there, it's like you playing on a console. And it has all these special graphics and these descriptions and, you know, this and that. It connects to your Google account, friends list, messaging, the chat. It has everything. But me not being able to own my game and you still making me pay full price for it on top of a monthly subscription, I'm good on that. If, if anybody, a lot of people have Steam more so than, than Stadia. And Steam, you can stream your games to your phone for free if you have GeForce Now. So and then GeForce Now is the best cloud to me by far as far as what they're doing because they did it right. They did an experiment for five years. They made it free to everybody. And then once they thought it was fixed, then they put a price on it and still kept a free version. So you can still go on there, go on GeForce Now, play all your Steam games for free. And if you want the higher tier version, get it. And you still own your game. You, you buy your game separately and you buy it and you get it from there. So I just think that's it's no point for a stadia for me right now and i'm not looking i'm not looking forward to it <clears throat> yeah and stuff i feel bad for the people who bought the stadia stuff uh last year i think that controller like what 70 no, it was, it was 100 bucks for the uh chromecast ultra and the controller yeah, <laughs> I know. Pe- I know people are feeling salty right now because <laughs> it's like they went from charging people to like, oh, it's free if you're this particular member and stuff. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. Like I say, I I don't know how Stadia is going to work and stuff. Um, I 
it, the only reason I'm, I think it's just bad is because they shouldn't have released it yet. I think they should have got all their stuff together before they released it. Now, th- since they have released it, it just left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. And so it's going to be very hard for people to come back to uh, that platform uh, with their experience and stuff like that. It's just like it's just like with any game, just like Halo. My mom always talk about Halo all the time. If they were to release Halo on Xbox launch day today, I'd have killed somebody. Terrible game. <laughs> what you say? I'd have killed somebody. What? <laughs> yeah, but, I, but yeah, but if somebody yeah, if they released it today and it ended up being a terrible bu- bucky game, um, buggy game, everybody went flip flipping out talking about how terrible that, that would have ended the franchise. That would have ended the franchise. Microsoft would have lost a lot of money, and then it, and then it would have said like, oh, we'll just come up with some updates just to fix what whatever the issue is down the line. Like I said, they should have just waited and stuff. They should have got what they should have did was they did, they should have did a trial run. I don't know why they didn't do that. They probably have, but they 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 should have so did a close. Long, uh, it wasn't available to everybody. And of course, yeah, if you have ten people run. on the server, yeah. more than a hundred million, it's going to perform differently. Well, go ahead, Max. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying they should have did a trial run, and uh, from there they would have got a good indication of what they need to do and what they don't need to do. And but no, they just released it. So and so that's why you see a lot of people are just like saying, "I don't care for Stadia and stuff." So yeah, so that was my two cents. <laughs> Baron, what's up? Ralph, what's up? Zoe, what's up? Wolverine, what's up? Thanks for joining us, guys. We, we're looking at your comments. We just had a frustrating moment about Stadia, but we see you guys. <laughs> Please talk a few details yeah. about Xbox Game Pass. Uh, we'll go to it real quick. Um, you want to take the subject, Max? Or? No, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, okay, Please. so uh, Game Pass, of course, is uh, Xbox a thing to give you access more. Uh, I wouldn't say free games, but more access to games at a very low cost that you can download to your Xbox. So you have your system traditionally and you buy your games on a disc or well, the new thing now is digitally. And that's all you have. You pay $60. You have that game pass allows you to have a a library of 150 plus games at a low cost of whatever tier you decide to get a month. So I think the lowest tier, what is it? $4 or something. And then the PC is the same. And then, uh, but don't quote me on it. I'm guessing off the top of my head, but I know that the ultimate is $14 a month or $14.99. That's what me and Max have. And it gives you uh, access to PC, console, and the cloud. So all those games on Game Pass, you can download them. They always revamp it every month or every so often. Take games off, put games on. So if you get a game from Game Pass, make sure you download it to your console, your PC, or whatever you decide to use and you know keep it for later but if your subscription runs out you won't have access to those games anymore you know uh but i think you do if you download it don't you max say that one more time do you, you have access yeah if you download them you have access to it don't you yeah i have access to it yeah yeah, yeah. so if you download them and you don't have the subscription you still have access to your games it's kind of it's playstation does the same thing uh, not with Game Pass. There's a, their Plus collection is coming out to compete with it, but any game you buy on PlayStation is in your library forever. You never lose it, no matter what. So that's what that's what Game Pass is all about. That's what it gives you. I suggest go Ultimate. You get more for your money, and on top of that, EA Play has been added to it. So which gives you another slew of sixty to one hundred games on top of the hundred and fifty and you know Xbox Gold if you have that. The free games. I don't think gold is going to last. I think Game Pass is going to take it over. Um, I, I just don't think there's no need for gold. Uh, so I mean, but who knows? I, I don't know if they're they're revamping their whole multiplayer system where you buy gold. Uh, they're still talking about Halo is going to be a free multiplayer type of deal. So I, I don't know what's what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure we're going to find out in the beginning of the year. Uh, there is no yeah. alternatives to Game Pass. Game Pass is Game Pass. Xbox took the lead on it. Um, so th- that's it. Unless you have a PC and you have Steam, or if you have Origin, or if you have Epic Game Store, but there's no alternative to Game Pass. And if you try PlayStation Now, PlayStation Now is horrible. I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah, PlayStation Now is terrible. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. What do you got next, Max? Oh, I just want to talk about uh more about the um 
this is the backwards compatible with the well actually I really want to talk about Spider Man uh Miles Morales. It's kinda of, <laughs> we kinda we kinda flipped we kinda of flipped it's like you wanted to go through the topic. So I was like, okay, let's roll with the punches. But uh yeah, so um Digital Foundry, even IGN, uh, did a comparison video uh, for uh, people who own a uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, and then uh, the new um, PlayStation 5 uh, system. And they were just showing the, the graphic standpoint on, um, you know, of the game uh, at the same uh, same progress. And man, uh, people... People may say like, "Oh, I don't really don't see a difference," but yeah, I I really did see a difference on the play PlayStation Five, and so they did the difference between they had the fidelity fidelity mode where they had uh, uh, native 4K with ray tracing on it, and that's 30 frames per second, and then they had the performance mode where it is uh, dynamic 4K, but it says close to hidden 4K, but not not like. Uh, native 4k but uh dynamic 4k uh playing at 60 frames per second and um looking at both modes i mean me personally i know when it when i start when i'm gonna start playing the game uh i'm, I'm gonna do the performance mode because in my opinion i think i think it looks i think it, uh, like i said the fidelity mode does look better but in my opinion i think i, I would like to play at a uh, at a higher frames and stuff that's just my opinion uh everybody is different but uh looking at the differences with how playstation implemented the whole ray tracing it looks really good and stuff and, yeah I mean, and even look at the this performance picture. mode looks really good too yeah look at this and picture. if you guys haven't place. had a chance to check it out on ign or digital uh digital foundry video uh, and even people on YouTube did a comparison on there. It, it 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 is a difference when it comes to next generation, which I am very excited of playing and stuff. And just like looking at that, it, it's it's yeah, I'm extremely happy. I just kind of wish I kind of wish the uh, uh, my only my only gripe that I have about PlayStation Five is is that I I wish it had more power uh like kind of like the same comparison power as the xbox series x because i really wish they had ray tracing 4k as uh at 60 frames per second if they had that man they would yeah. dominate pretty much a yeah, lot of things nice. but yeah. but i think it's just a limit everybody saying like everybody saying like no 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 yeah uh, it could do 4k 60 but i don't think i don't think the playstation 5 could do a native uh 4k 60 with ray tracing on uh, and be stable, uh, stable with it. So that's just kind of like my opinion. I don't know. I could future, and they may implement 4K 60, but I know they can't do 4K uh, 4K at 120 frames. No, uh, with ray tracing at all. I I know that's just some game to do that. But uh, the funny thing is, is that uh, they also showed uh, Devil May Cry 5. Uh, I think that's the special edition ultimate edition uh, and if you guys didn't know about that uh they they updated their game where they put ray tracing and then they got a performance mode uh and uh but the thing is is that they was playing on playstation but it wasn't playing on an xbox i think xbox is is able to do way better uh performance than uh, playstation but on the playstation 5 uh with ray tracing on they uh they was having some issues with the frame uh hitting at 60 60 frames per second and then uh if you wanted to get the performance mode the performance mode would knock the 4k resolution down to 120 uh 100 um uh, 1080p uh resolution and you'll be able to get 120 frames per second uh with ray tracing uh but uh, you only have it it's only at 1080p and it showed the difference and and people who have bigger tvs and stuff uh it it didn't look that good but it performed well but it's just like uh they were just showing like the graphics on there to say it was like pretty blocky macro blocky uh when it comes to comes to the gameplay so i mean but at the same time too you do have options so i'm not complaining whatsoever uh I, i'm just i'm just I just wishing that I, I wish the PlayStation Five had more power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with those games and stuff. So it, it, it's it's interesting to see. And I'm looking. I'm really looking forward. People, people really don't care about this. I'm really, I really am looking forward to God, uh, Godfall. I want to play that game as well. 
and stuff. Some people don't like it, don't care for it, but I think that's going to be a fun game. So I, I know I'm going to play that game, and uh, it's supposed to be 4K60. Uh, I don't know if it's going to have the ray tracing, but it probably might have an option between performance and ray tracing. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what you excited for uh, for the PlayStation 5 uh, launch? Um, I'm excited for uh, Spider-Man. I think that's it. I, uh, like I said earlier, I'm excited to play Final Fantasy again. It's only really the two games that I'm excited for. I don't. I haven't decided what, uh, which console I'm going to buy uh, Call of Duty for. Um, it, it'll probably be Xbox. I got it for the Xbox. Yeah, it'll yeah. probably be for Xbox. Um, uh, but um, uh, Mr. Almost Perfect here has a point uh, about the memory. So that what doesn't make me excited, <laughs> where they haven't locked down until they come out with a firmware update to be able to access putting in the SSD. So. Uh, oh yeah that's what i wanted to bring up too uh, yeah we, we could talk about that a little bit later okay so but uh, spider-man miles morales is what i'm uh, i'm excited about it i'm I'm actually excited to play because i want to get the ultimate edition is to play the regular spider-man again because I, I love that game uh yeah you know so uh I, I, that's all i really got to say for it I, I actually kept even though i got rid of my playstation and all that in a few games i still kept my original yeah. spider-man because at the time when we were turning it in, we didn't know what was going to happen until they finally released the news about it. So uh, I'm still going to keep it as a collection, you know, for yeah. long term. Uh, but I, I am, and I and I do want the the physical copy of the Spider Man Ultimate Edition. Uh, and I still may get the digital just to buy the Ultimate Edition and put it up and buy the digital to play. That's what I did with Final Fantasy. I got the you know the, the collector's edition one and i still bought yeah. it digitally so i can play it and i got that put up so it, it has some value later on down the line um yeah no uh, yeah uh, yeah I, i'm super excited and then and then with a the playstation 5 even though um people are probably gonna go crazy talking about like oh playstation is is on the same part as xbox series x they're not i'm, I'm saying that right now they're not on the same not on the same par with each other xbox series x is more powerful than playstation 5 deal with the people uh but uh when and they, bo- they both have ray tracing just to answer baron's question they both have say? they both have ray tracing because yeah, i think they both I think have we said something uh, yeah, earlier have, to where he yeah, thought they both, it didn't. yeah they both have ray tracing i, yeah. I think is it comes down to the developers of how they implement uh ray tracing in their uh in their games and stuff so uh, I know what that process is very expensive to do, and then it's very taxing to to the system, uh, to the uh, to the hardware on Xbox and uh, PlayStation Five. But it like it it all depends on the developer and stuff, and how they make their games and stuff, and how they utilize ray tracing and stuff. Well, but, not only uh, that, this it, is also the new version of ray tracing from AMD. You know, because it's, it's AMD hardware in there, and AMD's ray tracing is software based more so than hardware, and they have all these special features that go into it. To to me, if you want my opinion, I, I think it's going to be better than uh, Nvidia's version of ray tracing. Oh, that's a very very big claim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to say that, I'm saying I, that I, on that. I think I, it's going to have uh, uh, it's not going to it's not going to be smooth. You know, while it's out, but when they grow, it's just like FreeSync. FreeSync is kind of one of those go-to things, and now it's all FreeSync compatible, so it doesn't matter whether you have uh, an NVIDIA card or an AMD card now. So that's just that's just how yeah. I, I think it's going to be better, and I think I think it's going to shift to that depending on you know what NVIDIA does. They you know they may show something that's out of this world. So I mean, who knows? That's yeah. what happens, right? You stay in the game, you create something new, and you go with that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, you're right about that and stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I was just gonna add. Um, going back to the PlayStation Five, one thing I am excited for is uh, man, I, I just really can't wait to get my hands on the new uh, PlayStation Five control because everybody's talking about that haptic feedback, and somebody did a demonstration on uh, YouTube, and man, I, I'm really excited about that. I, like I said, I got the new Xbox controller right here. I haven't had a chance to. Um, boxes yet but uh i don't know i'm more excited about the playstation 5 controller than i am this uh xbox series uh x controller is because uh i don't know it's just like sony looked like they did a lot of work on that new controller with the haptic feedback and so i just want to see how different it is compared to 
compared to the previous play, the PlayStation 4. And it's like, I'm really excited about that because uh, I think it was just talking about the whole tension of when you pull in the trigger, it, it makes a huge difference. So that, that kind of brings on top of the experience that you have playing the games too. So uh, yeah, I know people are talking about graphics, this graphic, that, but uh, I like how Sony is, is going full circle with the whole experience with it. And so that's why I'm really looking forward to just getting my hands on the controller and seeing how, how that actual um, controller feels in my hand and stuff. And then uh, I'm looking forward to actually getting the new headphones too, the Sony headphones. I want to see how much of a difference it is between my uh, Astro A50s uh, headset and stuff, just to see how that 3D surround sound or wherever yeah. they, uh, that Tempest uh, heart, Tempest uh, drive that they have. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it just this is an exciting week for uh, anybody who's getting a new console, Xbox Series X or Series S or PlayStation 5. It just seems really good and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward like, to it. Really- I don't know if my headset will work for it. I got it right here. I actually just bought this, like, I don't know, a month and a half ago. So, it's a Corsair. What, the Xbox for or the PlayStation? This is a universal. This works for all consoles. So we'll see. Uh, I think, yeah, you got to you got to look it up because yeah. I know my Astros would would or work for my uh, for the PlayStation Five, but I had to buy a dongle, yeah, uh, just to plug it up. With Xbox Series X, uh, if anybody had an Astro A fifty, you just had to do a firmware update. You just have to uh, plug it up to your PC or your Mac and just download the latest firmware update. And uh, you don't have to use uh, you don't because uh, the Xbox Series X doesn't have an optical uh, input anymore, or the PlayStation Five doesn't have optical input. So the only thing you need to use uh, insert is just a USB cord, and then you'll have your uh, wireless headset working. And I tried it out on the Xbox One X before I traded it in. Yeah. They came out with the firmware update, and it works perfectly fine. I have no issues with it and yeah. stuff. So yeah, I'm, it's one of those things I have to find out uh, when it comes. Yeah. Here. Uh, so yeah. Ben is asking, are you doing an unboxing for the, the controller? Or he said, it looks like you're going to do an unboxing. <laughs> uh, well, what I'm going to do is, is that, um, with this and then I got the charger too. Uh, I'm going to wait till I get all my, uh, all, I get, get the all actual the accessories stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm just going to do a mass unboxing on the Xbox uh, series X. <sighs> Yep. Uh, for the PlayStation Five, uh, I already got, I already did a couple of unboxing already. I already got the um, the actual webcam for it, and I got the media remote and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the extra camera. Control. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really looking forward to the uh, menu. Uh, they was showing that. Um, it's supposed to be 1080p 60, 60 frames per second. And then also too, they was talking about you get to change your back. It got a background removal tool in yeah, here. That I'm that's looking what at I want to see. The center stage. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys could probably see that. So you get a background re- a removal tool, and then they also have uh, it has a built-in stand. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's supposed to be a plug-in place. So I'm going to see how that yeah. works with yeah. the PlayStation Five and stuff. So that's so what the- I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> So yes, you can plug an Xbox or PlayStation controller up through Bluetooth on a smartphone. So make sure whatever Xbox controller you have is Bluetooth. And the media remote for the PlayStation is basically a TV remote for the PlayStation. So it accesses all your apps, your yeah. volume levels, your yeah, I got that. Yep, yep, Max has it right there. Uh, you can yeah, access you right Netflix and all that stuff with. So it's nothing but just a remote. And you, do you need it? Not really, but it's 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 really nice to have. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got it because I have a, I have a Sony TV and stuff. It says well as the Sony TV. I have. Oh, that's yet. nice. I didn't know uh, that. Uh, yeah, it says it works with compatible TVs, and okay. I have a Sony TV. Good. So I was going to use that remote because I hate yeah, the those, remote. That yeah, Sony the Sony TV stuff, remotes so. are like this long, <laughs> and it has like a thousand buttons on it. Yeah, and it's, it's like hard it's, to do. yeah, I could go in the room. <laughs> and possibly huge, and it's just. I don't know. It, it, it's funny. It's kind of like I, I don't want to go down TV manufacturers that that will come up with the greatest greatest stuff for TVs. But when it comes down to like the actual remote itself, it's kind of like, man, what the hell are they thinking <laughs> and stuff? It's kind of like, why would you come up with something that huge? Do you think this is actually really comfortable in your hands when you 
warping the, <laughs> the TV is kind of like yeah. I don't know what they're thinking and stuff. Yeah. But the uh, the media remote for the PlayStation Five is really comfortable and stuff. So it's really comfortable and it got the same look. Uh, it got that same aesthetic look as the PlayStation Five. Like all their accessories look uh, very similar to what the PlayStation Five is. So I really like how they did that and stuff. So. Uh, like I said, once I get the PlayStation 5, I'm going to hook everything up. And like I said, I'm going to do an unboxing on PlayStation 5. I'm going to do an unboxing on the, on the, on the Xbox Series X. Yeah. So, guys, stay tuned for that. And then I'm also yep. going to be streaming those systems as well, too. So stay tuned for that. So it's going to be a pretty busy week. And stuff, yeah. So we'll see <laughs> Man, what happens. Yeah, Max, when you get into the streaming, it's going to be some, a little bit more extra work added. Because <laughs> when you stream, you got to make sure you keep a set schedule for your audience. So just be prepared for that. So I wouldn't go too hard. Nah, I'm just going to try it out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to do an announcement or anything. I'm just going to start. Okay. All right. So, so I just want to, I just want to test. Yeah. Yeah. So real quick, I do want to go over this because I know Max has a, has a subject um, before we get veer off too far to news. That's not Xbox. Um, so this, here's all the, I found this article on CNET where these are all the games you can oh. play today. Mm. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on for a minute. Before you do that, uh, okay. Moan did bring up uh, 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 something, uh, not Moan, but uh, Ralph brought up uh, uh, something that was important too, the SSD on the PlayStation 5. Oh, and yes. Stuff. So we kind of like, yeah, we, we've, we veered off on that. So uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, we just found this out this weekend uh, that uh, if you guys are trying to uh, get an SSD expansion uh, for your PlayStation 5. Uh, PlayStation, it won't work at this time because uh, PlayStation 5, Sony has uh, disabled it until further notice and stuff. So don't, so guys, don't run out there and go in and buy yourself a uh, SSD and thinking that it'll work on the PlayStation 5 because as of right now, it doesn't work. Yeah. But uh, for the Xbox Series X owners, uh, you can go ahead and buy your expansion card, and it will work. So it's kind of like one of those type of things. <laughs> I mean, you'll you gotta, win you gotta, if you, you buy it. About. Right. You'll win if you buy it. You just got to wait until they unlock it. Uh, but to me, if if you don't have money hanging out your behind, those SSDs are very expensive. So it, it kind of sucks if you go out right now and buy. They range from the lowest is, what, 200 and something dollars to 500 Yeah. depending on what gigabytes you have. And you don't want to pay all that money. For, for you to just sit there until they unlock it. They may not unlock this until sometime in June next year. So so just just wait. PlayStation always does this every console release where some of the most common features you think they should have and they'll release it eventually throughout the years. Uh it was the same thing with one of the one of the um PlayStation chats that nobody can understand why it was this way and they laid it right off for about a year and a half before they gave that uh uh you know that 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 uh what do you call it the whatever the feature was that allowed you to chat or do this and do that and back and forth uh same thing with Nintendo they didn't have a messaging or chat app at all until they uh, about a year later and then you could do it on your phone and people was upset about it so I don't know why they do these things to where you know hey this is so simple then they promote it they promote it as the main thing of their console and then they'd be like, well, it's locked until we decide to open it up. Why even say anything? Just promote what's going to be there on day one. <laughs> just just do that. Oh, yeah. But it's all money, marketing, oh, advertisement. So, I mean, hey, can't argue with that. Yeah. And then on top of that, uh, some other bad PlayStation 5 owners. So if you guys have a gaming monitor, uh, uh, and, and you got a game monitor, it's a 1440p uh, specifically. Uh, this is five, but now I'll put the 1440p. They only got uh, oh, they'll do that 1080p. Makes my nuts itch. How can you not yeah. support 1440p? That's so like this is the funny. So here's the funny. So here's the funny part. So 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 they'll do like 720p, 1080, 1080p, 1080i, uh, and then they'll do like 4K like who does 1080i? Stuff. <laughs> I don't How know. do you make 1080i a mainstream and not 1440p? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And then they got stand. I think it's like the standard definition, whatever it is for uh, 420 <laughs> or whatever it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it does all the resolution except for 1440p. And then, so Sony response was, if we have an, enough, enough demand, demand. For it, yeah, 
Yeah, and then we'll implement it in the future and stuff like that. But you got an Xbox. You got Xbox been doing that for I don't know how long now. I think it's since Xbox One. Since year. Xbox One. Well, at least One X. Yeah. That's so, what I yeah, know. they yeah they support it. Yeah, they could support yeah all uh, pretty much all the uh, resolutions and stuff like that. I, I don't know why Sony. I don't know what I mean. It's it's easy to implement. It's not something that's a hard change or anything no, like no. that. No, no firmware update. They're that good can to be go. Easily implement. Mm-hmm. It's not like we asked for AK. And this is the funny part though. They promote uh, AK. They're gonna implement <laughs> No, but this no, but the, here's the funny part though. Uh Sony said that they will implement AK in a future firmware update, but they won't implement a 1440p signal, which is <laughs> which is kind of weird. It's kind of like okay, you do an AK, but you can't do 1440p. So that is like it, it, it just is very odd because you have people. Who who don't own TVs but they just want to play on their PC monitor, their gaming monitor? Because I think their thinking is and it's the same way my thinking is too. Is that if I can't get 4K 120, I wonder if I could do 1440p 120 and stuff. So yeah. So Miss Almost Perfect said, "Did you know that they have trigger feedback on the PS5?" Yeah, we knew that, and that's one of the exciting things about it. I think Xbox already had it, didn't they? They already had a haptic feedback. I know that. No, it's not the same thing. It's okay. totally different. Yeah, okay. yeah. The PlayStation Five have to feedback. It's totally different than what the X- Xbox uh, uh, Rumble is and stuff. They well, like Xbox said, is not it, Rumble. It, their their haptic feedback <clears throat> is is not the same. It's not on the same level as Sony PlayStation Five. It's really? Like they have yeah. It's to, it's to, it's totally different. It, it's like how they technology. There's there's a video. There's a breakdown. There's a breakdown video. Uh, of showing how those uh, how uh, this person took a took down uh, took apart the PlayStation Five controller, and he showed how how the uh, haptic feedback work. And when you press the trigger, I don't have a PlayStation Five controller, so I'm just do just pretend that I have a PlayStation Five. It said when you when you when you using the triggers, there is that extra you 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 hear the rumble feet you got the rumble fe- features on there that 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 will get the the rumble feature on the actual uh, uh triggers itself but there's an actual uh module behind that uh rumble that's a tension tension module i forgot what they call it but it, it also it, it tightens that rumble and you can feel it you can feel it as you're like shooting or if you're uh i don't know what game um I, I think they had this uh this uh demo that come up with all uh, places five game. I think it's an Astros uh game, free game. But you could feel the actual tension when you're walking over ice or walking on regular surfaces, or if you're jumping or you're flying. It's like it, it's like depending on your environment, the uh the tension of your triggers is is, is different. And so I can't really explain it because it's kind of hard to really explain. Just just look at some YouTube videos and stuff. Uh, and they, they'll do a way better. You went through that whole explanation to tell me look at some YouTube. <laughs> no, no, because I, I'm not good at really I'm explaining explaining how the haptic feedback works. I know I got this you. One guy did, with did a phenomenal job, <laughs> mm-hmm. but it's kind of it's, it, it, it's it's hard to really explain it until you actually have it in your hands. But uh, how the way to describe it and how the way I saw it on YouTube. Is is definitely different than what Xbox uh, Xbox have, and I wish Xbox would do something. They'll release similar one. They'll release Sony one. Sony is doing. I bet you. I bet you that's going to be in something will. They in the will, Elite Three controller. Sony, you bet. I bet yeah, you to be in. I, I would. Yeah, but I, what I'm saying is, I'm giving it to Sony on this one. They they went oh, yeah, over and nice. beyond when they uh, to redo the controller that's and nice. stuff like Xbox. Yeah, Xbox Series uh, Xbox. They did some minor updates to it, and that's a great controller too. I'm not saying it's a bad controller whatsoever either, but Sony went over and beyond as an uh, as an. I'm not saying reinventing the controller, but they added some features that that people didn't think they need until they actually put it in their hands. And that's why I like how Sony did. And I kind of wish Xbox did the same thing too. It's kind of like uh, they they had that philosophy: if it's not broke, why fix it? Is it? But we'll just make some minor updates to it and stuff. And that's what Xbox did. But what Sony did is like, no, we want to do a completely different experience. And uh, when people hold the controller, this is what we want to do. And I kind of wish Microsoft did the same thing too. So that's they'll come out one. I, I, they're not going to like that. Let that ride out, especially with all the stuff they're doing. And Microsoft is also looking to publish more uh, Japanese studios. They want to get more into the Japanese market. So 
that would that's another subject coming. Yeah. Um, but I want to touch on the next. Yeah. One oh yeah. So, yeah. Go, yeah. Go. To, yeah. Get, yeah. Go to your topic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not any that. problem. Yeah. Yep, yep. We got a little bit of time. Got about 10 minutes left of the podcast. And I did want to touch on this for folks who are uh, getting the Xbox like me and Max or uh, either, you know, Xbox or PlayStation. But right now, the Xbox released today. So I wanted to kind of just go over all the games that, you know, like this says, Xbox Series X launch games, all titles you can play on November 10th. So these are titles you can play today. So if, you're not, do you, if you do not know what you can play, this is uh, this article here by CNET uh, tells you uh, what you can. And from my understanding, I thought I heard something today or read, watching the video already. I don't remember where it was. But right now, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is taking advantage of uh, the Xbox Series X full potential of, the, of, of their hardware. Um, it, I don't know if you're going to get you're not going to get 120 frames off this, at least 4K 60 and, you know, ray tracing yeah. and everything of that nature. But if you really want the full Xbox experience, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the is the way to go. Um, Fortnite, I don't too much care about. I you know everybody imagines it's gonna be free. It's still a popular game. Millions of people still play it. I'm not a Fortnite player, uh, you know. So that's just me. Cruiser Royale. Do you know anything about this game, Max? Cruiser. No, I never. Okay. Never well, we're not gonna even talk about it. 2K21. I'm not a sports game player, yeah. but for you fans that's out there, this is supposed to be this is supposed to be really good. I've heard good things about it. I've heard bad things about it. But the bad things I heard didn't make sense more so than the new things. Like a lot of people saying the graphics are horrible and this and that. I, that that's hard for me to believe from the videos I watch. So if you're into that, that's pretty good. Dirt Five, I heard, is another good title that's going to take advantage of the of the hardware. And and as you guys can see, it's a lot of third party games that's getting ahead of uh, Xbox when they release their thing. So when Xbox comes out with their stuff, I hope you guys are better than this. You know, I hope you guys can hit 120 frames on your on your first party games. Uh, Borderlands Three, to me, yeah. that doesn't seem like a like a hard game to hit. I mean, it's a cartoony 3D game, so there's not a lot of texture that's built into this game. So you should be able to hit 4K 60 or maybe higher from that one. Uh, Mortal Kombat is the same way. There's not a lot of detail. You just it's like a 2D fighter, 3D fighter. I, I don't know about. You say you don't know about that I, one? I'm I'm gonna I want to i want to see how that's I don't know how it's gonna look with the Series X. Yeah. Yeah, and the PlayStation 5 once they put their uh next gen uh update to it. That game is funny. If anybody haven't played Mortal Kombat it is. uh <laughs> eleven, I think I think you should pick it up because it's like they have they have like crazy characters. They got Rambo on there, they got uh Robo Terminator Cop on there, they got Terminator <laughs> on there. They even have uh, uh, the Joker on there, and the storyline is pretty decent and stuff. I, I haven't, I haven't got the 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 other uh, story. Uh, the download, download packs, content, yeah. But yeah, the after uh, the aftermath or afterlife. Uh, I think it's aftermath, but uh, af- after that uh, on that game, and I think that game, yeah, the game is fun and stuff. I think it's worth it. It got a lot of replayability to it. So I mean, if y'all if you guys are into fighting games. I say definitely pick that up. Stuff, and and so. Mortal Kombat is one of those things where it's infinite possibilities. They can put whoever care. I wouldn't be surprised they put Chucky on there. You know what I mean? So it's just one of those yeah. games that that they can just release one time and they can just continue this game on for years. They really don't even have to make a uh, Mortal Kombat. What is it? 11, 12. You know, it, to me, it doesn't make yeah. sense. They can just come out with like like how Bungie does Destiny. Just come out with a download yeah. content and it's a totally different game. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah, the same thing for Destiny and stuff like that. That's seems like that's where, where games are headed at, where people, uh, where they just put downloadable content and stuff mm-hmm. like that, or season pass to certain games, and um, and they just keep having a game for two, three, four years lifespan and stuff. Yeah. So, well, this one I am actually favoring. Bright memory. We saw this during the Xbox. Uh, uh, what was it? The game show, and it looked pretty promising. Yeah. The only thing I'm afraid of is that. It, well, how's the replay value? Is it going to be one of those things where if you replay it, it's going to be boring? And something inside of me feels like this game is. I mean, it's the same thing with I Watch I think it's going to be on the Game Pass, if I'm not mistaken. I, it better be. I mean, it's supposed to be out today. So we'll see. If it is, I'll play it on my cloud yeah. and see what it is. And, and even if the cloud doesn't work as well, I still won't judge it because I'm not on the console. So I, I won't judge it out the gate. Um, Every gate, yeah, so... I don't know too much. Oh, go ahead, Max. Sorry. <clears throat> Oh no no! I was just saying like yeah. I said I think that's on 
not a hundred sure. Okay. And stuff. Uh, Evergate, I don't know too much about it. So you guys looked that up. It has a Nintendo emblem on it, so I'm not sure. Uh, Tetris, I mean, if you guys are into Tetris, I, I mean, the new ones look fun. Just, I like AAA title games. I'm not a more of an, I'm not an indie player usually. There, there's some good ones out there. I, I just rather play AAA titles. That's just, that's just my thing. Uh, Manifold Garden, have you heard of that one, Max? No, I haven't okay. heard that. Uh, Observer System Redux. This is another one. The Falconeer. We yeah, saw that. Yeah, like a horror game. Okay, so okay, that's a horror game. The Falconeer. Um, I think we saw this on the Xbox Game Pass show. Uh, I don't yeah. know. It's supposed to be. I, I think it's supposed to. Be, I put uh AK on the Falconeer. I think. That's, well, yeah. That, by that's looking AK. at the game, it doesn't yeah. look like there's much uh textures and graphics and stuff they put. It has a cartoony feeling again. So they should be able to yeah. bump the resolution and bump the frame rates up uh, tremendously. Yeah. Uh, yes, your grace. Don't know about that one. Watchdog Legions. I've been holding off on that one because I want to play that on the new consoles. There, it's out now, but I, I and this is optimized for Series X. I, I forgot to mention that. So yeah, this yeah. will take full advantage of the hardware uh, along with Valhalla and um, I forgot the other game we mentioned earlier. So if you guys want to get that full potential of the hardware, get Watch Dogs Legions. I I've been holding off. I could buy it on PC and still get to get better graphics and better performance, but I want to play it on a new console with a controller. Yeah. Uh Yakuza like a dragon. Uh I I'm not a fan of Yakuza games. I heard they're pretty decent. I, I was at Target today. I saw it in the stores. Uh, you know, so if that's you guys' thing, that's another one you can play day one. Um no Man's Sky, that, that's already on Game Pass. That's been out. Um, I've been playing that yeah. for the past couple months. Dead by Daylight. Everybody keeps telling me to play this game. I heard this game is fun. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was looking at it and somebody put uh, this guy on YouTube dealer. He's on Twitter too. He did a demo of uh, uh, of that game and yeah, it looks good. It looked like it's outputting at 60 frames per second so i think i'm probably going it's on game pass i, I believe yeah yeah it's been on there for a while yeah so. and then i guess the main seller uh i was not too fond of but max convinced me to get it so call of duty black ops cold war so we'll see how that works out with me i did read an article saying that all of your weapons in Warzone and all of your items you can you even though this is a older excuse me generation game it's not a modern game you can still use all of your modern weapons on here. So that's a plus for me because I'm tired of playing World War II games and World War One and this and that and Pearl Harbor and all this other stuff. And you got mullets and, and yeah, I know I'm being, I'm just over exaggerating, but I hate, you know, I, I don't like, I like playing with the new modern guns like M4s and, and, and MP5s and vectors and all that stuff. So, you know, they said your stuff can transfer over to this game. It still feels like Black Ops when I played the beta. It still feels like it, and that's what kind of drew me off of Black Ops. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing zombies. I had fun with zombies in Warzone with my friends, so you know that was pretty fun. So hopefully, when it, they said Warzone is going to integrate in Cold War, so hopefully zombies will be in Warzone on Black Ops uh, Cold War. So I, you know, I'm looking forward to that. So, but uh, that's what yeah. I got for this article. Um, you know, as far as the games you want to play. So if you guys didn't know what you could. Uh, look this up. Matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll put this in the chat so you guys can have that with you. And there it is. I just sent it. So you guys can have that with you. Check those out. Kind of decide on what you want. Um, it's going. It's going to be pretty fun. That's that's how I look at it. Yeah. So, so other than that, that's pretty much all I have. I, I- yeah, I'm excited for the new consoles coming out this yeah. week and stuff. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like one of those things like you can't do nothing but just wait until we get it right. Everything's pre ordered. We got them coming. Yeah, I, 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 I'm excited, but I'll be. Yeah, I'll let you, yeah, I express my, I'll express my, uh, <laughs> my full, uh, <laughs> uh, full, full so, enthusiasm when it comes. So I'm trying to plan. I'm trying to plan my unboxing and, and first impressions video 
Uh, I'm still deciding to stream it. My buddy Ralph said he wants to do it with me. You know, we'll be on video and do it together. Uh, so we'll, it, there's some more talks on that. If I go that route, it might be a pre-recorded video. Uh, but it's easier when it's live because video saves automatically. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that. Um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I thought I was gonna have my console today. I didn't. So PlayStation is supposed to come Friday. Hopefully that. I mean, not Friday, Thursday, right? So hopefully that um that comes through. And and I kept telling myself I don't want to do my unboxing like I have both of them. So hope you know maybe I look at my email see if they finally ship the console and see when it comes. Because you know if I get it you know Thursday and Friday from Max. I can wait the weekend to get the Xbox and then I can get my video all set up to do the unboxing. So we'll see what happens with that. It's going to be hard holding out, but I, I think I can do it. Uh, that I mean, that gives me time yeah. to get my games I want, right? Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Call of Duty and all the other stuff. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm not buying a physical copy of Call of Duty. I'm going to get the digital. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, um... This we we at that hour. Uh, <laughs> yeah, got, it's time to eat. It's time yeah, to get the kids and everything else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's time, it's time, it's time to wrap it up. Uh, but uh, I don't know if you have anything else to say, uh, Moon. But if you guys get a chance, if you uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, channel. Uh, uh, put the links like in I, said, I, I post videos. Yeah, I post a lot of videos on there. If you guys are interested and stuff, and I know Moan does the streaming. And uh, on his, so uh, no, I definitely appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, coming through and uh, to watch our uh, our live podcast. And uh, let us know if you have any questions with in regards to anything. Yeah, you can always message us. Uh, message us on our on our uh, dedicated, you know, uh, social media channels. You know, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you can reach out on YouTube. You know, emails and all that type of stuff. I got to get Max to make a, a a link tree. So I guess I'm working with you, so everybody can find you on all your platforms. <laughs> so. yeah yeah that's what i gotta do i gotta yep, work yep. on that and yep. stuff so all right i hope all right. everyone have a good one yep it's the end of, right, end of episode 19 so we'll see you guys later all right take care